Bob, a great start for your team, especially on defense and special teams in Nichols. You stopped them on four downs. You had a nice punt that pinned them inside the five, and then you had a couple of interceptions. Just a great start for your team defensively and on the special teams. Well, that's what you want on the road. Uh, I mean, particularly in playoffs, is get off a good start, and, and we were able to do that and build a little lead. And you know, I actually had a chance uh, with the football to, to go up 21 nothing, and it would have been interesting uh, to kind of see that game if we would have been able to do that. Yeah, and the one thing about this game, Bob, that, that had been a problem for your team is taking advantage of those opportunities. Boy, you sure did because with that Mike Johnson interception and then that Armistad interception, you turned them both into points, which is something you had been struggling with earlier in the year. Yep, uh, big uh, big part of the game, you know, we've, and uh, we uh, uh, did a really good job of that first half of the season, not quite as good a job second half of the season, but uh, the one thing that we did Saturday is we finished drives and, and got the ball in the end zone. And then you dealt with adversity with that pick six right before the half, but you came back and kicked a field goal. How important was it for you to put some points on the board after giving up that touchdown? I think that was uh, you know, a big momentum boost uh, when you give up uh, defensive scores. Uh, it's uh, you know one of the biggest momentum changers in football and our ability to at least go back down the field and get three points on the board before half to have a 10-point lead. That gave us an additional boost of confidence going into the uh, uh, locker room. Got another turnover to start the second half with an Alex Koken interception. You couldn't convert that into points. And then a couple of issues. Stopping their running game became a problem. And then a lot of self-inflicted wounds for your group in terms of penalties. Yeah, the uh, uh, second half, uh, you know, give uh, uh, Nickel State credit. I, I thought they really executed well on offense. Uh, caught us in a couple of things. Uh, converted some third and off schedule situations, which um, you know we needed to to get them off the field, and and as a result, uh, big drives. Uh, the great thing about it was our offense responded. Uh, every time Nickel scored, uh, uh, they responded uh, with putting additional points on the board and and uh, allowed us to to keep a lead in the football game. Yeah, I was going to ask you about that, Bob, because psychologically, when you're in a shootout like that, how important is it for at least to have the lead for most of that time? <laughs> Well, it's, it's a good thing, you know, particularly, uh, as I said, you know, for a first-time team in the playoffs. So besides members of our coaching staff, you know, we don't have a player in our football team that have ever been uh, in a playoff game yet, uh, a road playoff game. And so, you know, the ability to respond to, to adversity and, and to um, challenges is something that you want your team to be able to do uh, in those pressure situations. I thought one of the key stretches was you get a third down conversion call back because of a penalty, then you take a sack, then you have to punt, then you get the kick interference call. So now Nichols is starting on your 44, and your defense holds them to just a field goal, which means they still need a touchdown to tie the game. That was, uh, you know, that was a big, uh, big series. Um, you know, the defense didn't get a lot of stops in the second half, but the couple that they got were critical ones. So let's talk about that last stretch. Obviously, there was a lot of dispute about the spot of the football on that four, that uh, fourth down play where they needed uh, three yards. That did not go your way. So now they're inside the one. They got four cracks to tie the game. Would have been very easy for your defense at that point to relax and let up and say, "Hey, we're going to overtime." But that was exactly the opposite. Your defense really rose up and responded again to adversity on the road. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, really a strange series of events. Uh... You know, you think the game is potentially over. Uh, the spot review gives them a first down. And uh, really proud of the way our defense uh, came. I mean, we hit back in the backfield, uh, you know, about two yards deep. Uh, uh, the ball was jarred loose, and you know, our guys dug it away in the end zone to secure the win. So just, you know, another character play for a football team, the kind of plays that hopefully build more confidence as we advance to the next round. You talked about wiping the slate clean, going back to zero and zero, and now with one and zero and winning games that maybe hadn't gone your way earlier on, that confidence has got to be something that you're that you're very very positive that you can build off of at this point. Well, it's a different challenge this week. Yeah, uh, but uh, but certainly um, you know um, the the fact that we went on the road, which is what we're going to have to do this week. Uh, you know, that experience of uh, being in a tight game and, and figuring out a, a kind of a unique way to win is is something that playoff football is all about and uh, we'll be a better team this week as a result of, of that performance last week. At Sam Houston, and of course the big storyline, the top two offenses in the FCS, what are the similarities and what are the differences between your offensive approach and their offensive approach? 
Uh, well, we're very similar. Both teams play with tempo. Uh, both teams are going to try to uh, try to take uh, big shots downfield. Both teams are going to try to be balanced uh, uh, with run pass. Uh, you know, probably the biggest difference is is uh, um, you know the, the both teams have great quarterbacks. Uh, they're a little different in style, uh, but uh, you know it's going to be uh, it's going to be a game where where every stop. Uh, is going to be important, and every offensive possession is going to be important. And one of the things they've done particularly well, they've scored 100 more points than their opponents in the first quarter, so they've gotten off to great starts. Yeah, you know, and um, we've been a, a fast-starting team as well the majority of the year, and, and uh, so you got to come out ready to play early. Uh, one of the key things on the road, which is something that we did uh, last week very well. And then sacking the quarterback. Both of these teams have an ability to get to the quarterback. They've gotten to the quarterback 30 times this year. Yeah, you know, when you get teams playing from behind, uh, uh, it allows, uh, they've got some very talented pass rushers that they, that they, uh, that allows them to, to just play that. Uh, um, so, you know, we've, we've got to keep balance in our offense. Uh, we've, uh, we've got to um, make sure that we're, we've got enough mix and enough things that we do to, to keep them off balance. And then they've got 10 different players with interceptions. But let's talk about your secondary, Bob. Obviously, you're down a couple of players you would hope to have at this point of the year. This group has had to rally together and, and come up with some new faces and starting roles. What's the confidence level of your defense, mm-hmm. and especially in the secondary right now? Uh, well, you know, I think our secondary guys played well uh, last week. Um, you know, we we gave up some yards on the run, but uh, four interceptions uh, or three interceptions rather, and, and four turnovers was a big part of our defensive effort. Uh, those will be things that will be important this week as well. Will Chris con- continue to wear those gloves this week? <laughs> you know, I I, uh, I think he's gotten used to them now. Oh, has so, he? Okay. Uh, yeah, he's he's, he's uh, actually feeling better. Uh, and we'll we'll see uh, this week. Uh, actually, practiced last week a little bit without him. Decided to wear him in the game, and and uh, uh, if he keeps throwing touchdown passes with him, uh, we'll, we'll keep him on him. And obviously, there had to be some discussions this week about the uh, limiting the number of penalties. Yeah, you know, penalties. Uh, it was a kind of a strange game in that regard. Uh, you know, some calls, a lot of calls. Uh, you know, some some I think were merited. Uh, some. Uh, some kind of on the border, and but it's a game where you're going to have to play close to the best, and we talked about that uh, this week. Uh, you know, it's it's going to be a game where we've got to take care of the little things. We've got to play really uh, disciplined football on Saturday.